Hey guys, Tony Tell like it is. A really big revelation to be made today. As I talked about before, Bruce Arians released a book called The Quarterback Whisperer, How to Build an Elite NFL Quarterback. In this book, he talks about his chronicles developing uh, four quarterbacks. He helped develop Peyton Manning. He was quarterback's coach for the Colts. He helped Andrew Luck have a tr tremendous rookie season to throw the ball deep, to have confidence in his uh, deep passing game. And he was responsible for allowing Ben Roethlisberger to call signals at the line of scrimmage to help him develop into a really good quarterback, unlike Ken Wissenhunt, who he had a terrible relationship with. And Carson Palmer, he simply helped revitalize his career, and he's learned a lot from Bill Sarian's offense. As you know today, Carson Palmer suffered a broken left arm is going to be out at least eight weeks. So it's not going to be looking like we're going to see any Carson Palmer until probably around week 16, especially if the Cardinals are going to be in winter bus mode at that time. We've seen many close divisions in the NFL this year. The Quarterback Whisperer of this book was released on July the 11th of 2017. That's a pretty interesting date. It was released on July the 11th, July the 11th of 2017 as an interesting uh, date numerology because that equals, I don't know what's going on with my date calculator. July the 11th of 2017, the day that the book got released, was on a date numerology of 35. That is significant for this upcoming season. The Super Bowl is going to be played at... I don't know why my screen's not moving. Okay. So in Gematria, the practice of coding letters and words into numbers. Min Minneapolis in Gematria in... Pythagorean Gematria equals 55. Equals 55. The book, The Quarterback Whisperer, was released on July the 11th of 2017. It's in interesting because the quarterback that's re replacing Carson Palmer now is Drew Stanton, and he helped the Cardinals have a really quick start to the NFL season. I believe the Arizona Cardinals started... 9-1 and one it was in 2014, and Drew Stanton quarterbacked many of those games. So it's pretty interesting that the Arizona Cardinals are facing this same situation again. It's pretty funny. It all has to do with Bruce Arians performing a quarterback miracle. In Pythagorean Gematria, quarterback whisperer equals 103. It's interesting that Bruce Arians' birthday is on October the 3rd. October the 3rd can be written out as 10-3, the 10th month, the 3rd day. That's a, lot, that's a lot like 103, his birth date of October the 3rd. And Bruce Arians was also born in the year 52. This is the year of Super Bowl 52, by the way. Stanton equals 103. The Steelers are on top of the AFC right now. Before the season, I predicted the Steelers to beat the Patriots in the AFC title game. I'm still sticking with Pittsburgh to go ahead and do that. Talking about Bruce Arians' birth year of 52, it's interesting that prophecy equals 106 in 52. In the Gematri calculator, the amount of time from the day that the quarterback whispered the book that Bruce Arians wrote was a time span from... July the 11th to October 22nd, excuse me, is going to be a time span of 103 days. That's pretty interesting. Once again, Stanton equals 103. The quarterback whisperer equals 103. Time span of 103 days from the quarterback whisperer's book release to the day of today's game that Carson Palmer got hurt. October the 22nd, 103. Very significant. Also, no coincidence that it equals the, path the gematria value of the Steelers. The last time Arizona won a Super Bowl was in the year 1947. When you think about 1947, 1947 adds up to 66. And that is significant because Revelation is a 66 book in the Bible. When you talk about prophecy equaling 52 and what this football season is going to signalize, 
Now it's looking like this team may finish 9-7 and seven this year, may find itself in a tie with L.A., Seattle, or even both, depending on how the divisional games turn out to be this year. But Drew Stanton, the quarterback of the Arizona Cardinals right now, was born in the year 1984. That's pretty interesting. 1984 adds up to 103. 1984... Once again, Stanton and quarterback whisper equal 103. Really significant. And this is no coincidence, all done by design. 66 days from Palmer's injury to December the 27th, his birthday. Nine weeks and three days. By the way, Saturn and Dematch equals 93. Saturn is a, geek, uh, is a gatekeeper of time. When talking about prophecy, it's interesting that Drew Stanton's last start was on October the 6th against the 49ers a year or two ago. 106 days from Palmer's injury to Super Bowl 52. Once again, prophecy equals 106 and 52. No doubt this is very significant for what's going to come for this year, just like we saw in 2014. Once again, his birth year is 84. 1984 also adds up to 103. Super Bowl 52 in Arizona and Jesuit equals 84. When I talk about the Jesuits, Catholic and Gematria and Pythagorean Gematria equals 35. And the fact that the Super Bowl is being played on the 35th day of the year. Or the fact that there's 35 days from the Pope's birthday to Conference Championship Week. I think it's a huge sign for what's going to come. Drew Stanton's birthday of May the 7th is very special. It forms a 5-7 that is a championship number. World Series equals 57. Pythagorean Gematria, the number itself, 57, when you type it out, equals 131 in Solis Championship. He's got a very significant birthday, I can tell you, this year. May the 7th, 1984. Championship birthday, just thinking about it. That equals... I can also compute his birthday numerology of May the 7th. Uh, May the 7th. This has a birthday numerology of 49. That's a lot like Revelation in Gematria equaling 49. Definitely, this is how they script the world of sports. I talked about it with the Los Angeles Dodgers in this upcoming World Series. Dodgers over Astros, a correct prediction I've ever made since May. The Dodgers at the start of the year, Dodgers-Astros. I told everyone that the Yankees were not going to win, even though they had a 3-2 lead. Against Houston, I called another comeback, yet another comeback in this quarterback whisper. Drew Stanton and Adrian Peterson returning to Arizona and the top player in fantasy football. David Johnson gets hurt this year. So definitely this has been a really crazy season for Arizona right now. And it just may tell what's going to come later on in the season. Remember, Larry D. Fitzgerald Jr. equals... 97. The season that began on September the 7th is going to be a very special tribute to this Minneapolis native. The Super Bowl is at Minneapolis. Adrian Peterson used to play at the Viking Stadium. Drew Stanton, Cardinals backup quarterback, is part of this ongoing narrative in the book The Quarterback Whisperer. And this, in, in this injury today was completely scripted by the numbers, and this was a topic I've been talking about for quite some time already. And over the next couple of weeks against San Francisco, a team that Stanton I saw was 2-0 against, that's the first game that they play after a bye, and then they get the Seahawks at home. So if they, if they do manage to beat the 49ers, which the first game, by the way, was done by the numbers. I explained how it was rigged for the Cardinals to win that game. They had no business winning that game by any means. The Niners are supposed to win that game, but obviously it's about the number 33. So we'll see what they do for the next game. If the Niners' first win comes against the Cardinals, bam, their season is over. Or if their season lives on and Thursday night at their home stadium, crowds can get really, really crazy for that. So we'll definitely find out once again. Another presentation of Tony Tell it Like It Is, sports rigging, sports scripting, by the numbers, enjoy the World Series, Dodgers over Astros, call it from the start of the year. See, told you.